in terms of DJing, I've DJed alongside like people that I respect highly, like De La Soul, Mos Def. Um, I mean, in terms of sheer numbers of people playing clubs like Ministry of Sound and you know those sorts of things that you just think, will you ever get there? And then when you find yourself playing at these places, then you know I guess that's at the top of the list. I got into DJing with a group of friends. We all chipped in and bought a set of turntables together, which then rotated round each person's house every two weeks. But um, as soon as we got the set of turntables, we realized it was very, very difficult to actually DJ. So four out of the five of us all dropped out and the turntables stayed at my house and then decided to make use of them and actually learn how to do it. Ever since then, it's just been about the music, collecting records, learning it, learning the trade inside out. The props that I brought with me is the single off the album, Midnight Marauders. Everything about this album, the tracks, the production, the lyrics, the artwork, um, the whole nine yards was inspirational for me and everyone that was around me at the time. Um, and the single is just one of the greatest tracks of all time, it's a party anthem. And from the early stages where I used to practice like six, seven, eight hours a day, and that's after going to college, after going to work, and then going home, and then DJing all night in headphones. Um, I took it to that level because I felt tutoring it. If you, if you were given the privilege or the, the right to teach someone else, you should know what you're talking about. <laughs>